Hey everyone, Jamie here with Originality AI. Originality AI is proud to announce the release of its new update. This new update includes readability scores integrated with the plagiarism checker in our AI content detection and plagiarism scanner. Readability scores are an important factor to consider when publishing articles online. These scores inform us as to the rough reading level required to read a piece of content. This is important when creating content for a particular demographic as you want to be targeting the readability level of that demographic. So if you're creating something for children, you want it to be really easily readable where something like a scientific paper can be a little bit more challenging to read. Okay, with all that said, let's dive into the tool and take a look at the new features. All right, so once we've logged ourselves onto Originality AI, we're gonna head over into Start New Scan, and we'll notice that this checkbox has changed slightly, so now it says Check Plagiarism and Readability. So we're just gonna paste our content into here, and click Scan Now. So just wait for this to be done. Okay, so as per usual, we are initially greeted by the AI detection score. I did use ChatGPT to summarize our actual website. So that's what this content is here. Uh, and we'll notice in plagiarism, it's picked up a lot of the information from Originality AI's website. So we'll notice this new tab on the right, readability. If we click on that, we'll be initially greeted by the Flesh Kincaid Reading Ease. This is probably the most popular readability formula. I will overlay the formula on the screen now. And then if we click on this button down here, we can go to the right. We can have a look at some of the other popular ones. So this is the forecast grade level, the Gunning Fog Index, and the Dale Chal Readability Grade. So if we head back, each of these has a grade level to aim for. So aim for grade nine or 10, score of 11 to 13 and score of six to six to seven so this is kind of actually this particular content is just outside of the optimum reading level and again here we can notice 35.3 and we want to be aiming for 45 to 60. so originality ai completed a study in which we identified the target readability score range of the top results on google I will link that on the screen now and it'll also be in the description below. So now if we look at the main text area here, we'll notice lots of different highlighting. So when we hover over each of these highlightings, we will get a pop-up box and it's just gonna tell us the information as to why it, this particular sentence has been highlighted. So in this case for red, uh, it's considered very hard to read, so we should consider shortening that sentence. A green highlight, is a word over four syllables. This can be considered slightly harder to read. Blue is an adverb, that's those colors there. If we scroll down slightly, we'll see a key. So we can see yellow, the sentence is hard to read, over 20 syllables. Red is over 30 syllables. Purple, the word is over 13 characters. Green, the word is over four syllables. And blue is an adverb. So if we scroll back up, and we'll see this uh, this blue button down here, if we click on that, we'll come through into the text statistics area. So this is just giving us a better understanding of all the text statistics associated with this particular content. So we have the letter count, the sentence count, word, unique word, and some other stats in there. If we go along once more, we'll get some more readability metrics. So we have the Flesh Kincaid reading ease, the forecast grade level, the smog index, so these are some lesser known ones, but still relevant readability scores. The readability scores are typically designed for a particular type of content. So whether that be a scientific paper or some readability scores are more directed towards assessing whether kids are gonna be able to read this particular content. You can find out more information by just clicking on each of these indexes. So here we can see the years of education, the SMOG index is assessed by analyzing the number of polysyllabic words in a sample. It's often used for evaluating the readability of healthcare and legal documents. So there you go. This particular index is more geared towards healthcare and legal documents. Scroll down slightly more and we have some other indexes available. Everything else works as normal. So the AI results work as normal. Plagiarism still works the same. It's just this new tab here. And we can also turn off the highlighting of a readability if we just want to have a quick look at the content that we've written and here we have the share scan button this came out of the previous update 
but it's still re very relevant as it now allows us to share more information concerning the readability of a document. Okay, that about rounds it up for the new features of the new update. I've been Jamie with Originality AI. I hope you find the new readability tool really useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.